Hey, look, we're back. So I just finished my last video, and also my next Let's Play. Where we'll be playing, published by uh, Square Electronic Arts. God, I miss Squaresoft so much. Like, I don't hate Square Enix or anything, but I think Square was at its best when it was Squaresoft. Like, their, their older library stuff was just so good. And yes, that is the Statue of Liberty. And yes, that is blood in her eyes. This game took place in New York, in a big city. And Resident Evil 2 is coming out soon. So what are we? Oh, and there's a cop car. So what are we playing? We are playing. Wait, that's not Leon. But it's a cop. What's going on here? The blob. Fusion. And let's just look at this old school 90s. Um, old school 90s, just CGI cutscenes. These were like groundbreaking back in the day. Oh, cells. Did you know that mitochondria are the powerhouse of the cells? God, I had that freaking ground into my head as a kid. Oh, she pretty. Oh, those fingers long, though. Conception. This kind of reminds me of a uh, Batman Beyond's. That horse is on fire, poor horse. But yeah, this kind of reminds me of Batman Beyond's um, oh, intro, just like random words. Evolution appearing on screen with just epic things happening in the background. Liberation. Explosion. The worst foe lies within ourselves. And we are playing, not Resident Evil 2, but Parasite Eve. Oh, Resident Evil 2 Remake is coming out soon, so I thought, let's play a survival horror game. But, but I love, why aren't you just playing Resident Evil 2 then? Shut up. First off, I'm playing this game as a means to intro into my next video. Second, uh, because it's my channel, I want to play Parasite Eve. Deal with it. Just how it's gonna be. Let's get into this. Uh, I had a save file earlier, just test things out. We don't need the tutorial. Let's just go straight into this. So this game straight up pl uh, takes place in um, New York. There's like no pretense. There's no like saying like York New or New Donk or something like that. This is just straight up New York City. And because of how copyright laws work, they don't need to, like, pay anybody. And yes, that is a statue of literary, and it is literally crying blood. If this shit happened in real life, people would be flipping the crap out. But yeah. Games like this make me wish, miss Squaresoft. Not because I don't- I hate Square Enix. I mean, Final Fantasy XIV is, like, a game that I play damn near every day and I plan to get truly back into it hey Merry Christmas 1997 truly back into it soon but Squaresoft had just had so many games that I utterly adored and still rank up there in like my top games just all time you know Corona Trigger I could play that from start to finish every single day and never be bored Super Mario RPG amazing early Final Fantasy games good just so good Anyway, here we have our main protagonist, Aya Brea. What's wrong? You're the one who wanted to come to the opera. Man, <laughs> these these models look so back in, bad in the day. Name, Ayabrea, age 25. Wait, what? <laughs> I just noticed Ayabrea's the same age as me. Jesus. All right. I'm just over here a teacher and she's some big time cop. All right. NYPD officer. Why would I change her name? No, her name's Aya. I don't want to change her name. I don't know. I just, you're right. I'll try to have more fun. 
Are you glad you decided to go out with me? I even had my dad get the best seats for us tonight. So lighten up, we're gonna have a great time, you'll see. So, walking around in high heels, and yes, I have my gun with me. Why? Because I'm a cop. So, for anyone who doesn't know, this game was a prototype or like a tech demo for Final Fantasy VII. This game was used as a framework for a lot of the mechanics and stuff that you'll see, or not a lot, but a decent amount of the mechanics that you'll see in Final Fantasy VII, or saw in Final Fantasy VII. Main character, golden hair, slim figure, stuff like that. You even have the, some of the same turning animations in this game that you have in Final Fantasy VII. And they use the same technique of having a textured background or a pre-rendered background with live animation models just walking around and able to interact on it. Come on, we better go inside. Enjoy the show. Oh, wait, what do you say? Oop, sorry, my bad. Please take your seats. The show's about to start. So, let's look what I have. I have my... <laughs> I have my handgun. My police vest. So, I just came to this... <laughs> so, I just, I never noticed this, but... I just came straight to this to this opera. Just ready. Already packing. Already got my gun. Already got my uh, police vest to take, to take whatever. The club is absolutely useless except for memeing. Like, it's possible to do an entire room with this thing, but it's... It's it's the meme weapon, or not even social meme weapon, but you're meant to use guns in this game. You can beat this game with just a club. It's just difficult. Um, what the club's used for is taking ammo. If you ever run out of ammo in this game, the club is meant for that. Uh, we have change our armor, change our weapons. We have the sound cursor, window position, or uh, colors of the window change, position stuff like that. Auto sort items, and that's it. Let's go. So, Resident Evil 2 remakes coming out soon, and I'm hyped for it. As a kid, I was scared crapless to play that game. Let's get to our seats. They're already starting the first acts. Already? So, the intro sequence, I comes off as kind of like, you know, kind of reserved, kind of held back, stuff like that. <laughs> and then something really funny happens in a second. Father, please give me permission to marry Eva. And yeah, I think he's like saying it like in corpus, like, Father, please give me permission. I forbid it. You know well what will happen if you do. Those who succumb to, who succumb to your beauty all die in horrible ways. Epic foreshadowing. You don't understand. She is the one that has suffered after the deaths. She is evil. Grab her, guard. Or guard, grab her and burn her at the stake. No, I won't let you do this. Father! If you are sentencing her to death, then I ask you to take my life along with hers. Edward. Get used to the song, by the way, because they're going to sing it a lot. And I mean a lot. Back to the, to the bad CGI cutscenes. Also, I never noticed her arms are way too spindly. How her eyes how is her mouth closed, but she's still singing. And what's wrong with her pupils? Wait, why are they green? Does anyone else notice this? And spontaneous combustion. Bruh, if you're gonna die, at least don't try to murder those people with you. 
Is it supposed to be part of the show? I don't think it's supposed to be part of the show, guys. Is that a slow down Wilhelm scream? I think it's supposed to be anyway. That's a beautiful set piece right there. Just beautiful scenery. So, once again, Aya was utterly prepared. And she apparently brought her gun to this. And she just pulls it out. Now, she went from being demure, kind of like held back, and in this one moment, she basically defines what she's all about. Jesus, I don't want to, oh my god, go, get out of here, now, bam! <laughs> it's beautiful, because it just shows that I is like this no-nonsense, or not, not no-nonsense, but she's like straight to the point, like, I, I need to get do this, like get the crap out of my way, I got people's lives I need to save, even though everyone's dead, and I need shit, to, I got shit to do. Get out of here. Freeze, NYPD. Hmm, you're the one who seems to be fine. What? You should be awakening soon. What are you talking about? Listen, your cells are trying to communicate. They're calling out. She's, yeah, she's straight up floating. So. Here is the system of this game. It is almost kind of like a precursor to uh, Kingdom Hearts in a way. And it's live action until you want to do an attack. And that's where it becomes a turn-based game. The number of bullets I have on the screen, the visible bullets, tells me how many shots I had to do before I can reload. And the number tells me how many targets I have. I only have one target, top left I see my health, and my when my AT fills up, my action timer, whatever it's called, I can do another attack. So, I have free movement, and then I can attack. Bam. Oh. Ha 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 ha. And now I have our new bar, my spell bar, or my Parasite E, P-E. What's happening? My body, it's getting, it's getting hot. Just as I thought. What is this? What did you do to me? And notice how my AT is filling up again. So during this, I'm basically all I had to do is just dodge. And then when I have my turn, I can shoot again. Now, notice the dome. If they're in the dome, I have a better, more accurate shot. But if I'm shooting from outside the dome, my damage is lower and my chances of doing damage also decrease. Like, watch. Let's see if I can make it trigger. Give me a second. Come on. Trigger. All right, I missed, uh, wait, one more time. There it is. If I'm outside the range of the attack or the dome, I have a chance of missing. Bang, bang. So you just wait to the attack, wait for my AT, dodge, and shoot. I'm out of bullets. So what I had to do here is use that club I was talking about earlier. Dodge that. Switch to the club. And it's just straight up a Tompa. And notice how fast my action meter fills up when I'm using it. Bam. Bam. I just realized my bullet did six, and my swing attack did seven. So either that's a wimpy pistol, or <laughs> Aya is works out a lot. Our bodies are communicating with each other. What? Communicating? What? What do you want? The more you use that power, the more you will become like me. Power? What power? Who are you? Eve. Oh, her name was e uh, Eva, and now it's Eve. Get it? I'm surprised you don't know. I'm surprised you don't know me, Aya. You should know me well. What? I just noticed that these pants I'm wearing have a rip in them. <laughs> What? What is this? A small blonde child on the bed. 
Who could that possibly be? Epic foreshadowing. What was that? Ha ha ha. Bye. <laughs> Wait, where are you going? I'm not through with you yet. And there's just a hole in ground. And you see right there, those are our chests. They contain items. Now, before we go out and fight her, we are going to go back outside. Why? Because I'm out of bullets. And, you know, there was just an incident where, like, hundreds of people, you know, were literally getting set on fire. So the cops are here. Even though this is NYP, this is the New York on Christmas Eve. So, yeah. Uh, I'm pretty sure I can check this body somehow. Can I not really? Huh. Oh well. Rip that guy. Or girl. It's kind of hard to tell. Uh, also, I can't check this one. You were almost out too. What a shame. Oh, wow. That's just a lot of dead people. Huh. I guess I had to get closer to the hole to trigger it first. But yeah, these people did really close to making it out. And they just, bam. So apparently with burn victims, it's impossible to, with the, the burns are sufficient enough, you can't even tell if the person was male or female. And that's kind of a strange and kind of creepy thing, you know? Sadly, this is literally my fastest walking speed. Or running speed, I guess. Then again, she is in high heels, so... Hmm. Also, this dress looks good on her. All the way to the left. That sound design. I know she's down there. There they are. Sounds like my backup's arrived. Forget it. I'm going to be a smart cop and go for backup. None of this. I'm going to go after the monster solo thing. No, that's dumb. That's not how that's not how that actually works. Thought process like that just make me want a realistic horror movie where people do the smart and actual thing of getting out, you know? Hmm, should I go into this creepy haunted house by myself or should I wait for backup? I think I'm gonna wait for backup. There's no real downside for me waiting for backup. I'm gonna wait for backup. Whoa, I'm a cop. I'm with the NYPD. What? Hold on. I'm going to take out my badge. Don't shoot. Psh. Wait, was she keeping that? <laughs> okay. All right. You think you cute. I wonder if that thing called um, spontaneous combustion. Who knows, huh? You think we'll be on TV? That's what you're excited about? Hope this becomes a TV news or something. What? <laughs> Paramedic. There are people dead. There were literally corpses just out here, and you're what you're hoping is that this becomes a TV movie or something? People are dead, Jim. Let me patch you up. Yeah, just rub your hands together and boom. Hey, why don't you have any injuries? Don't ask me. That's something I want to know. Everyone's gotten burned a lot. Everyone's getting burned. A lot of them probably won't make it. Hey, why don't you have any... Oh, okay, same thing. It's this guy, then. Hey, I got some. I've got the same gun. I got the bullets for that. If you want, yes, I do. Yes, yes. Give me all the ammo. What are you going to give me? Is there we go? Sorry, but I'm out, and I can't give you the ones that I have in my gun. That's fair. You gave me what, like sixty? Uh oh. Wait, first option, switch over to it. And yeah, sixty. Reload. Bam. Even these noises are iconic to Final Fantasy, man. I 
Onward. I got my bullets. I'm coming for you, Eve. Seriously, when she went, she went from Ava to Eve. Like, why? Can you guys think of anyone else important with the name Eve? You know, someone really, really important with the name Eve? No? Nah, you'll figure out the, the subtext and of all this soon. I know she's down there. Jump down with no backup, because that's what cops actually do. Don't actually do this. Hello, little girl. That would be creepy. Are you alone? It's dangerous here. You should go. Okay. Now, if this was me, and I jumped down a hole and saw a little child who giggles and fades into the wall, I'd be like, you know what? I ain't about that life. That girl, it couldn't be. Of course it is. Who else do you think it would be? I would just straight up be like, later fam. Let's see, there's some iron rings on the side. Forget it. But yeah, that's what I would do. I just straight up climb out of here. Wait, you're gonna climb with high heels? Dang, Ada. Like, I know you a badass, but goddamn. Locks. 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 Oh. Rat scurrying. And one more CGI cutscene. His cells, they're mutating. You know, this would be painful as crap. Like your bones stretching out like that. Your bot, the human bot, the body, not just the human body, but like bodies were not meant to just rapidly mutate like that. Oh yeah, and here's where some of the like horror elements come from. Like it's body horror, grotesque horror, whatever we call it. But yeah, fights pan out the same way. You just dodge, fire when you get the chance, and move around to dodge the attacks. Whoop. I think take, these guys take three shots. Yep. Cool pose. And you basically always want to take the items they give you. There's no real downside to just stocking up on as much of them as possible, you know? Jesus, did Eve do that to the, the rat? What's going on here? Ah! Here, take the take everything. There is all on the counter. Sorry. Don't scare me. I'm with the NYPD. You're the one that scared me, lady. I'm just getting ready. You know, only staff are allowed in here. There was an incident here. You'll have to evacuate. What? You're kidding, right? Hey, I'm not dying here tonight. See ya. Wait, no, don't leave. Yeah. Oh, there's the Wilhelm scream, by the way. Yeah, I don't... I don't know why, like, he... He was safe in here. Like, and uh, whatever. Ooh, I like that. You can see yourself in the mirror. Uh, something you said there's something on the counter. Hmm, guess not. And then here's where the music starts. So. When my AAC is up, dodge that, I can go into my menu and use my attacks. Only one I have right now is heal. Uh, bam, wait, shoot that one, then that one, bam, bam, oh. So the thing about this game is you gotta kinda like time when you use your attacks, if you don't, you'll just take free damage. But, heal. Come on. Ow! I forgot you had a bite attack, which it makes sense you're a rat. Cool pose. I'm not really sure how leveling up makes you shoot better or raises your strength when using a gun, but you know, I won't question it. No, who am I kidding? I'm definitely gonna question it. That doesn't make any sense. Dead body. Dead body. 
Empty. Empty. And, oh, no, medicine in this one. Empty. Uh, uh, oh, that'd be, oh, that's gotta be painful. I, I'm sorry, my guy. Yeah, let me open the last locker first. Dude, put a bullet in this guy. You're still alive. Hold on, let me call the paramedics. M Melissa, she's a monster. I'm not sure how it's like now. Melissa, Melissa, you mean the main actress? She's probably got to Susanna, too. You'll have to stop her. Please, no, please, wake up. Hang in there. Uh, yeah, no. Notice how it said actress, but you couldn't really see a, like, definition on her? Because, yeah, that's how burn. That's how it happens when you get burnt. It's really kind of a fucked up way to go. It's locked. It's locked. Mm. There's an item back here. Medicine. Ah. What's this key? Theater key. Uh, I'll explain that red flashing later. First, let's go all the way down the hall. Oh, there's another battle. Bang, bang. Don't don't ask how me getting more strength makes me do more damage. Just accept it. I think it's supposed to be implying that, oh, she's becoming a more accurate shot. And that was a crit, by the way, the yellow text. She's becoming a more accurate shot, so, like... I guess, but it's still such a weird general concept. Unlock the door. Uh, I believe there's an item back here? No. Oh, we got a new enemy. We got a parrot. Ow. Ow, ow. Can you guys not? There we go. Oop, dodge that. So if I'm far away, they'll do fire, and if I'm close up, they'll do bite attack. Take that out, and that out. Oop. I think I'll use my heal here. And I'll explain the PE more in a little bit later. Right now, there's not really like enough to really bother explaining too much of it. Bang. Oh, one shot for those guys. Okay. Not sure how you guys have bullets on you, but I won't complain. Ah, here's the item. More ammo. Why is there ammo here? For what purpose? Unlock the door. It's a clown from the dressing room. Yeah, Ada, how you just, not Ada, Aya, how you just told him to stay in there, like, yeah, he'd still be alive. This, his death's on your hands. I mean, it's not fully your fault, but you, you kind of pushing him out the room. Yeah. There is an item here. Offense up. So. Now, in cases like this where you get this kind of item, most people are like, oh, I want to save it for later so I can just keep, uh, so I can use it on my best gun. No, no, not in this game. The best thing you can do for this game, honestly, is use them now because there's a, there's ways to, like, siphon off them later. Push away wall because the wall is a different color. That's odd. This wall looks like it's about to crumble. Stand up. And new body armor. Why there is police ride armor in a back room of a theater? Beyond me. It's fine. Put 
that on. And let's go back down the hall. Let's see, we're already in there. What room did we miss? One of these rooms I, we missed, I think. It's locked, so I need to find another key. I'm not sure why they'd have different keys scattered around. This one, there we go. Merry, Merry Christmas, goodbye. Transform. This looks like a Persona. This looks like a, for any people who played a Persona, the Persona series or the Shin Megami Tensei series, that looks like a, a Persona called a Zen. Z-H-E-N. Ammo. I believe there is... I think there's something more in here. I could be wrong, however. Was that really just to give us an intro to the new enemy type? So it seems. Also didn't go through this door, it seems. Ah, this is the room I was looking for. Ammo. And on the table... Uh, there we go. A diary. November 3rd, Monday. The Christmas show is set. This has been my dream. The main actress has a solo concert at the theater in Central Park. I took all the medication to get here. I have to get the lead part. I'll even sell my soul to the devil if I have to. Hmm. November 17th. The cast was announced and Susan and I are double cast. I want to play the part alone. But everyone knows she's good. November 21st. I think I'm overdoing it. My body's getting hotter than ever for some reason. I better take more medicine. December 6th. I collapsed today. I lost consciousness after my body got hot. I don't care if I die. I just want to get through the show. I passed out again. They told me to go to the doctor and get some rest. If this continues, Susan will definitely take my part. I need to get better. I better take a lot of vacation tonight. Oh, that's because that's safe. Susan was burned in an apartment fire. Is it because I wanted the part so bad? God, forgive me. December 17th. Looks like I'll be the main lead. I better take more medication and work it. Opening night. Everything went smoothly. Today is Christmas Eve, and we should have the biggest crowd in the season, and I had this solo concert the next day at the park. But I'm not feeling well. I better shape up if I want to get th through this. I better take more medication. For what? Why is she taking so much? She must have a drug problem. Another key. Here we go. Oh. <laughs> oh, my inventory's full. Um discard. There we go. Is it going to make me read that again? Yep. <laughs> so let me just skip through all this. Aya, come on. Aya, you don't need to read all this again. You already know what's happening. I swear if you say she has a drug problem. There we go. So that is one thing about these older games that I don't really like. Like, you kind of have to know that item was there. There's no real way to just figure that out without guesswork. Because there's no real clear indication that that backdrop right there is any different. I'm Melissa. I'm... No, I'm... I... I am... I am Eve. Ah, uh, I'm getting... I'm getting hot! Nucleic domination has finally come to an end once and for all. What? I'm not sure why she's growing a tail. Once again. 
The day for the mitochondria to be free has finally arrived! So same thing as before. Just move around. Generally it's better to wait until she they attack before you kinda dodge, you know? Hey, got my two shots in. So this attack you just kinda oop, forgot to move closer. Bam, bam, oop. So you wait until the attacks, and then you kinda just stand right in the middle of it. Bam, bam. Ooh, 25 total. Nice. I'm be kinda greedy with this. Can I get my two shots off? Yes, I can. And as you get higher into the game, you'll get faster uh, returns on action and stuff like that. I can get two shots off here. There we go. Looks like you still need more time, girl. Until your mitochondria is completely free. Mitochondria, what are you saying? I don't understand you. Cutscene. Or flashback. What? Where is this? Is that little girl I saw? No, it's... It... Oh, come on. It's pretty blatantly obvious who you who that is. But who is that? Interesting. That doctor. Wait. And she's gone. My country to be free. And she dips her in the hole in the ground. Where'd she go? Once again, screw waiting for backup. I'm a cop. Because this is what cops do. Oh, that's going to ruin her shoes and her dress. Oh, that's nasty. Eh, come on. We got three rats this time. Bam. Bam. Can't one shot. Not quite yet. Oof. Here and here. Alright, so one more bullet for each of those, and they are dead. Bam. Bam. Enemies also have like an invisible AT meter before they can do their attacks and stuff. Scan. Parasite powers have evolved. Scan. Analyze enemies' HP and weaknesses. Take all. There's a chest there. New enemy. We got frogs now. Bam and bam. Can't one shot quite yet. Getting closer though. Are there frogs in New York sewers? Ow. Uh, I'm gonna take this time to heal. So scan works exactly how it does in like all RPGs. It just tells you what the abilities of the enemy is. So watch. You hit him with scan. You find out their HP and their weaknesses. Bam, bam. Dodge. Uh, I'm gonna top myself off before I finish this thing off. So, notice how every single time I use my uh, PE, it, it starts recovering slower. I'll show you later on a way to circumvent that. Take all this ammo. I'm not fully sure how, once again, these animals have ammo on them, but let's not question it. What's in the box? A new gun. <laughs> There's just guns and sewers in New York, apparently. Uh, yeah, let's just upgrade. Go all the way up. And a little bit farther back because that lets us see the item back there. And from our normal view we had before, we wouldn't have been able to see it. Uh, there, just a dodge. 
All right, I can one-shot these guys if I get a crit now. And... Blam, blam. So. We now have the item. Or, we can now see the item and know where it is because of how the foreground works in this game. So, what we're going to do... Is the camera won't shift to, like, a pro proper view when we get back there. However... Now that we know it's back there, we can just walk back there and snag that. You're the little girl I saw at the cut theater. Are you lost? Aya, why are you, why are you chasing little girls, though? Like, you can kind of see the chest right now. Wait, little girl, don't go. She is literally disappearing. Why do you think that's a little girl? Aya, come on. Don't fall into the, like, the, the stigma that cops are idiots. Uh, there it is. More ammo. Uh, come on, come on, come on, come on. Go. Oh, oh, that's not what I wanted. That's not what I wanted. That's not what I wanted at all. Come on. It's kind of hard to get. There it is. Inventory is full. Yes. <laughs> Replace a medicine, get a medicine. Might as well use the medicine now because I am not at full life. And then just take the medicine out of the chest. Not the most intuitive system, but it's fine. It's an old game. It's from like the 19... late 1990s. Two frogs. I'm gonna take this guy out first. There we go. So you just start one way, it turns, and then you just kind of dodge. Bam, bam, bam. I need one more hit to kill it. Bam. Ammo. And I think that's a good stopping point for right now. We've just been at videos almost, what, 45 minutes long now? Either way, emergency switching to phone. Use the phone. Phones are your save points in this game. And save. Okay. So, that is Parasite Eve. Or at least the start of it. Uh, 30, we're, we've been in this movie, uh, video for like 40 minutes now. Anyway, thank you for watching. Now let's see if you guys can guess what the theme of my next video is going to be, just based off the video game so far. If not, it's fine, you'll find out later. Either way, thank you, and later!